The dim light of a single candle flickers in the corner of the room. You find yourself sitting in an old, creaky chair, Bible in hand. One verse catches your attention. A verse that seems at first to challenge everything you know about the gospel of grace. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Philippians 2, 12. You read it again. Is this verse really suggesting that salvation depends on your effort? How can this fit with everything you've learned about grace alone, through faith alone? The tension builds. Your heart races. You wonder, is it possible that salvation isn't as secure as you thought? But wait, before you go too far down that path, let's step back and take a closer look at what this passage is really saying. In the original Greek, the word work out refers to carrying something to completion. This is not about earning salvation. Paul is writing to those who already belong to Christ. He's not commanding us to work for our salvation, but to live out what God has already worked in us. Now about that fear and trembling. It's not a fear of losing salvation. It's a deep reverence for the awesome power and holiness of God. It's the kind of humility that comes from knowing that God himself is at work in us. But here's the mystery solved. Keep reading. Philippians 2.13 holds the key. For it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. You feel the weight lift. It's not about you striving alone. It's God who gives both the desire and the ability to live for him. The light flickers again, but now the room feels brighter. So what does work out your salvation mean? It's simply living out the grace that God has already given you. Because of his work in you, you can walk in holiness, not in fear of losing salvation, but in awe of the God who has saved you and is transforming you day by day.